thought I'd uh, video a quick update on the on the 71 VW here that we're uh, converting to electric drive. Got a green light and we're going to go ahead and start. So um, I actually started last Friday and I uh, removed the uh, the fuel tank up in the front. And the fuel tank is where uh, the where the fuel tank area is is where one of the the front battery pack is going to be. And it wasn't that easy getting this tank out because of this hose right here. It was uh, part of the air conditioning system, believe it or not. This, this car had AC. But so what we're going to do is uh, try to retain this area here for uh, the spare tire. But right up front here, you can see this, this shelf area right up in here is where we're going to have a uh, one of our welder guys that will create a special oh, uh and not really a bracket, but a shelf for the batteries, for the front pack of the batteries. And what I'm going to be doing today is removing all of the air conditioning stuff, the hoses, uh, probably that unit right there. Oh, it looks like a heater box of some sort or something. And then all of these lines, expansion valves and so forth, like evaporator, condenser and so forth. I'm going to remove all of that because it's just kind of in the way and it adds to the weight. And uh, so on the inside of the car, let me walk around this, the lift here. On the inside of the car, I'm going to be removing uh, this bottom unit here, which is uh, the hang-on part of the or the venting system for the AC system. Uh, there's a couple of gauges in there, but we're not really going to need them for electric. One is a looks like uh, oil temperature, and one is the cylinder head temperature gauge. I think those were added on anyway. So, but anyway, so we're gonna make a little bit more room underneath this by removing this, and it'll make it easier uh, to get in and out of the car. Plus, we can put one of those cool-looking bamboo shelves on there uh, to hold stuff. But uh, moving to the back here, I've uh, already started removing all the wiring and so forth. I went ahead and labeled it, as you can see, just in case we end up reversing, uh, wanting to reverse what we're doing, and it can still be done. But uh, so just about everything I've got undone that needs to be undone in this area um, and so I'm probably going to have to remove the, the lid here because it's the upper bolts to remove the engine are way deep down inside in there and it's just really hard for me to squeeze my arm in there. And so underneath the car as you can see here I've got the heat exchanger tubes removed and then the uh, oh there's the this thing right here is part of the cable. I guess it's the flapper that's inside or that allows air to go up to the front or not. But one thing I noticed underneath the car is that although it's really, really clean, the transaxle itself um, is quite greasy and oily and it looks like the boots and things are, are split on the CV shafts and so probably going to have to uh, reseal all of that because uh, we 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 reuse that when we uh, uh, when I put the engine back or the, put the electric motor back in. So anyway, so hopefully the next uh, addition to this little video, I'll have this engine out and a few other components. But uh, finally starting in on the on the VW, so I'm real excited about that. And uh, just a real quick shot of the truck, and it is I'm going to say 95% done. I'm charging the battery right now to uh, to uh, give it a real quick test run, but start to put some fluid in the in the uh, transmission. But and there we go. Anyway, so hope everybody's staying cool out there. It's uh, brutally hot here today, gonna be, but at least we're not in Phoenix, so we're out. Bye. All right. Well, looks like I've got just about everything clear on the. Uh, for removing the engine so I thought y'all might like to see the moment of truth so to speak so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, one real nice thing is about having this two post lift is that uh, I can just lift the car off of the engine rather than lowering the engine out from underneath the car and so as you see here as I lift it up I think I've got everything disconnected and you can see I've already got it kind of uh, removed already from the from the transaxle so but here we go So I'll do another real quick walk around to make sure everything's disconnected before I lift it up the rest of the way.
right, so it looks like we're all totally clear of the, of the car, so I can go ahead and pull her out. Makes things nice and easy with this uh, motorcycle jacket. But uh, it looks pretty good so far. And uh, engine's pretty clean. So the engine looks nice, pretty clean actually. Uh, there's a little bit of leakage on the bottom, but I can see real quick in here as I go into the transaxle. Uh, you can see fluid on the bottom there, uh, actually quite a bit. So it's probably coming out of this, out of this shaft here. So we'll let's put a new seal in there. We'll throw a new, uh, put a new throw out bearing and so forth like that. Uh, but otherwise, it looks pretty good. Just a little bit dirty, and uh, you can see here uh, the CV boots have been leaking a little bit. Uh, plus. Probably a little bit of leakage down in the inner CV boot, as well as on this side here. The inner CV boot was probably leaking a little bit also. So overall, didn't take too long to do this, maybe a couple hours overall. And I know other people can do it within an hour or so, but uh, it's my first time removing a VW engine. But uh, so anyway, moving forward. Bye.